Today we are going on a field trip to the California Academy of Sciences. As some of you might remember, I had the chance to interview some amazing scientists from the California Academy of Sciences last year through the Google Science Fair. They recently invited me up to see the Academy, and I have to say, it's an amazing place. There's an aquarium, a rainforest, an alligator, birds and fish, and a planetarium, and a living roof, and so many things to absorb. We walked around the current Skulls exhibit, which delivers with quantity and quality and diversity and variation, and does an amazing job of using skulls to demonstrate countless biological phenomena. The public exhibits were great, but the really special part of my trip was getting a tour through the museum collections. There were rows and rows of fish and echinoderms and minerals and all sorts of amazing, amazing specimens. This is a barrel full of whale stomach contents from 1961. I think that might be part of an octopus. These are my kind of people. But possibly the most amazing are the Galapagos tortoises. Kept in a temperature and humidity controlled room below the main floor are around 200 Galapagos tortoises from the Academy's 1905 to 1906 expedition to the Galapagos. The expedition sent to explore the islands and gather collections of organisms living there in order to investigate their origins was also conducted to study the geology of the islands to make a very careful search for fossils and to spare no effort to secure specimens or remains of those races of the gigantic land tortoises which had long been thought extinct. On their way back to California, the expedition received word that the Academy and almost all of its specimens had been lost in the San Francisco earthquake of 1906. The cargo hold full of Galapagos collections, already valuable for the stories they told about the area, were now doubly valued as the Academy's new collection. Standing in this room full of tortoises, many the size of a coffee table and hundreds of years old when they died, was humbling. These were amazing, beautiful animals, bigger than I could have expected, stately in their mountings, and telling biological stories of adaptation and evolution, including saddleback shells which allowed tortoises on arid islands to reach their necks up to eat higher vegetation. Today, these specimens continue to be valued by the Academy. As so many of the staff members mentioned while I was there, museum collections provide invaluable and irreplaceable sources of knowledge. These tortoises and the rest of the Galapagos samples provide a snapshot of the ecosystems and environments present on the islands in the early 1900s. They can be used today to construct phylogenetic trees and to inform current day conservation efforts. They are also beautiful, humbling, and a reminder of how majestic nature can be. My many thanks to the lovely people at the Cal Academy for giving me a look around. And for the rest of you, remember to go forth and do science.